introduction in the world of IT and governance. He has been instrumental in shaping the IT landscape of Telangana, driving initiatives that have not only fostered technological innovation, but also contributed significantly to social development. Under his visionary leadership, Telangana has emerged as a hub of innovation and entrepreneurship. His work extends beyond the corridors of IT industry. It touches the lives of common people, bringing positive change and setting benchmarks of excellence. We are incredibly honored and privileged to have you, sir. As we stand on the cusp of this new journey, we are eager to hear his insights and wisdom. So without further ado, let's extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, sir. The stage is yours. No, no, please keep singing. I'll be making a long speech. No, no, sorry. So then you want me to speak only for two minutes. No, that's it. Be comfortable. So, uh, <clears throat> thank you, Ashwini Garu, Sasabu, Kartika, all the senior leadership of uh, Brian, all the team members. First of all, many, many congratulations. This is a very nicely done office. I go to so many office inauguration functions, but I'm really struck by the way you have designed this office. Some of the things are showing lots of empathy about your stuff. For example, you have put a crash there. There's a room for mental wellness, there is a gym, of course. Gym is common, but to have a room for uh, mental wellness, then a particular player room, all these things show the human touch. And uh, that also shows that people matter in this organization. Because uh, normally, I mean, I'm not uh, kind of generalizing, but there are many companies where I visit, where they see employee, a staff member that is only from one lens, and that lens is called billing. How much money are you bringing to the organization? That is the only criteria to see the value of a resource. But obviously things are not the same here to do. You do go beyond, because bottom line is important, revenues are important, but you go beyond all that. You see everyone as a resource, part of a family, which is very wonderful. I'm happy that uh, in the last 18 years or so, Gayan has developed quite a lot, you have progressed quite a lot. I was told by Ashwini that when the Hyderabad facility started, there were just 12 people to reach a level of 350. And I was told that the plans are to reach uh, 500, hopefully in the next uh, six to eight months or so, which is again something very encouraging. We have seen that uh, by the uh, IT landscape in this city has some of the big tech giants also, the Microsofts and the Googles and the Amazons of the world. But the real backbone of the IT landscape, the tech industry here in Hyderabad, are companies like you. Big scale companies who are doing important work, who are doing very niche work. And I should also compliment you. See, many of you will be aware that uh, two decades ago, two and a half decades ago, when IT started in Hyderabad, the, in the first 10 years, 15 years or so, the reputation of Hyderabad was more focused on services. This was seen as a good uh, services destination. Just uh, if you want to put 100 people, uh, 500 people, 1,000 people in some project, you can very easily get there. It was just a matter of number count. But we wanted to change that. We did not want this tag to remain because so services are important, but the tech world has moved up quite a lot, moved up in the value chain. So we wanted companies to start developing products and uh, deploy those products up in uh, value customers, some of the best Fortune 500 companies, etc. And you have exemplified exactly that. I was just told by some that uh, Mobius, which is a product, is now considered a very valuable product. Some of the most uh, prominent uh, broadcast companies, digital media companies in the US, they use your products. Some of the major digital intermediaries like Adobe and others, they see value in what you do, which is absolutely great. And uh, to have the distinction that this entire product was developed here in Hyderabad makes me feel very, very proud of all of you. So 
congratulations once again. And uh, the other important thing which I learned, uh, I was not aware about it, but what I learned from Sabu was that you are also into DPIs, digital public infrastructure. You are uh, servicing the uh, emergency response systems, the 311 and the 911 uh, systems in the US. DPI is again something very important for the country as a whole. So we will be aware that, uh, in fact, uh, it's a good coincidence that we are meeting today because of our G20 event in Delhi, just got over yesterday, last two days were G20 event. And amongst the various achievements and accomplishments of our country, which were showcased in the G20, one of the highlights was the digital public infrastructure, the entire Aadhaar and the payment stack and the health rural health mission and all the DVDs and the bank account uh, integrates to your uh, mobile numbers. So all this digital public infrastructure is important for the country. In our state also we do quite a lot. In fact, I was happy to learn from you that you use our uh, open data platform quite uh, widely, which is very nice to know because it has been created, it has been set up for uh, facilitating companies who are into digital public infrastructure to access any kind of government data in a very seamless manner. And I would like to get your feedback also. Suppose you want some more data or data in a more machine readable form or interoperable form or anything which you feel is not completely right or perfectly right at this moment with our open data, but your experience of the US or elsewhere shows how else it can be done. Please uh, keep uh, uh, updating us and giving us this feedback. So once again, very glad that all of you are moving into a new office. I expect uh, to come to uh, your uh, growth path, to continue to prosper, continue to flourish. Keep me updated about the progress that you make. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me. Take two more minutes and talk about MBS. MBS is a digital transformation as a service which is powered by AI. And you can develop applications without writing any code in the speed of thought. Telangana is providing us a lot of information with its open data portal and lots of policies with uh, lots of data around it. What does that mean? Telangana is enabling lots of digital literacy. Every citizen is being digitally empowered with lot of information that we have. And OBS is the correct tool here to make citizen developers of it. So when I say citizen developers, you don't have to learn how to write code. It's, it's all, all of those is just a yes. Now we have powerful tool with us where we can use those data portals, take data as inputs and provide them all the data that we get from this data portal and provide as inputs to private sector enterprises and entrepreneurs and create beautiful applications. Mobius right now powers a few of the digital public infrastructure projects in the US. Like we, as all of you know how we implement 311, a civic responding system. And we do a first responder alerting system. All of those applications are quite possible and make Hyderabad a safe place to stay if we use similar kind of uh, technologies and developers. So I don't think you know Hyderabad was called as Park in other for some of you from other states who don't know. Bagia is wealth. Now I'm quite confident that with esteemed leadership by uh, the Minister Sir and Jay Sir, we can quite reach there make Hyderabad again a well city, make Hyderabad a true Bhagyanagar by creating applications uh, and creating citizen developers using the open data portal and platforms like Mobius are the right ones to create and get that innovation is what I feel. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I am sure we will bring this Bhagyanagar again. Uh, now is the time to recognize some of our people who have been through, our, through with us uh, for many, many years, building this company hand in hand. And we would like to recognize some of them who have gone above and beyond in their work and made this company successful and where it is today. For this event, I would like to invite our Vice President of Engineering, Mr. Vijay Kumar Sabu, to be on. Thanks, Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for giving me the opportunity to present the work for our outstanding leaders at Gayan. 
So I am truly honored to stand before on this occasion, special occasion, and I would like to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished guest, Mr. Deesh. Okay. So in any organization's journey, strong leadership is the cornerstone uh, of success. It's my privilege to introduce you to the remarkable leaders who have played like pivotal roles in our achievements. Their dedication, vision, and hard work have been exemplary and in shaping our path to excellence. So let me begin by acknowledging the crucial role of human resources in any successful organization. Without a doubt, they are, they are the backbones that supports our growth. Please join me in welcoming uh, like Rajeshree. Our HR leader. Thank you. So, I would like to talk. Thank you everyone for choosing me for this award. And thank you for the leadership uh, for giving me this opportunity to learn and grow within the organization. So to achieve success in any product, a blend of aesthetics, 